Why I'm buying 10,000 XRP in 2020. Welcome back, guys. It's Crypto Rocco from Rockstar Trading Channel. In today's video, guys, I'll be doing a long term price prediction from XRP from back in 2014, and I'll be sharing with you why I'm looking to buy more XRP. So, I'll be doing my chart analysis, technical analysis, looking at some news, share with you my trading strategies, share with you exactly how I'm trading it, and how you could do share a trading strategy for you as well at the end of the video. So, without further ado, do let's get into the video guys so let me share with you how i've been trading xrp so xrp had that crazy rally if you guys have followed me or followed xrp you're aware back in end of 2017 since then guys it's been in a downtrend we have had moves up but we've not been able to break resistances you know we couldn't break that resistance this time we couldn't break that this rally we couldn't break that and this one i was getting really excited when we were breaking above that green zone but we failed and we have dropped hard so one of the levels I've talked about, one of the key things I talked about was this support level. It, well, initially it was this. When we broke it, guys, I sold my XRP. If you guys remember, I made a video that I, I sold my XRP. It dropped about 34%. And here, guys, I bought some because it was at support level. And I got a lot of hate for buying, uh, selling XRP. Everyone was like, oh, you're missing out. You don't know what you're talking about. But from my trading experience of six years, guys, I've seen this sort of moves happen and then break down. And that was that is exactly what we had. I bought some here and then I was making XRP breakout videos here, guys. Again, please go watch those videos. I'm not just talking about it. Uh, these, these were done live. If you go watch my videos, I've got some of them wrong. I've got some of them right. If you take 10 trades using my strategy, I'm confident you'll make money overall. And if you're interested in using my strategy, finding out more about me, I'll leave the links below to find out exactly how I trade the markets so uh, now XRP guys it XRP is broke tried to break above this it could not stay above that red zone and then it is falling down now I'm looking at very high time frame and it's not just XRP let me make that clear guys Bitcoin has dropped like 50 60 percent stock market is down we're going through the coronavirus issues uh, the Russia Saudi Arabia oil issues so there's lots of issues in the market and we could be going into a long bear market and from what we have seen unfortunately i was hoping bitcoin and cryptocurrency especially bitcoin could be a hedge for the next wo uh, world crisis you know when uh, or bear, bear market or you know similar to 2007 where market crisis unfortunately bitcoin and cryptocurrency seem to be following the stock market which isn't great because if stock market goes down further xrp could xrp and bitcoin could be going down much further so um that is something we have to be wary of but again if something i'm not sure exactly the the issues with coronavirus are i've only seen the news i'm not an expert on it if it if it is as bad as people are saying then xrp can go lower the reason why i bought some here is this was my strategy when we were back up here i said if i was going to buy long term i'd buy at 1272 that was my strategy from back then and i've stuck to my strategy you guys know how i trade and we have had a big move up from here guys this is the 1272 Fibonacci and I talked about two zones 1272 Fibonacci and 1618 and 1272 is hit and we have had a big move up so that is my sort of strategy for XRP USD it's at the 15 of 12 cent 12.8 cent is where I got in it, it was a bit of a drawdown but we have had a big move up if we close back above the red zone guys that could be good for it and we could have a big move up and again I'm not saying I'm gonna huddle this trade but this is more of a long-term trade and I'll see if we get if we can get a big move up and start breaking resistance. If we can't, then I'll look to buy some maybe here. My set here, 618 Fibonacci, which is crazy to think eight cents less than 10 cent and XRP from back over three dollars. But that will be another zone where I look to buy more. But I'll, I'll share with you my XRP USD strategy in a bit. Let me have a look at Bitcoin strategy. So another reason why I bought XRP is I uh, I said 10,000 XRP again. Please don't get hung up on 10,000. I don't want to share with you. I think it's personal uh, information to say how much XRP I own. But the reason why I like the XRP is because XRP has got support against Bitcoin, and we can see a 20% move up of XRP against BTC. So that is huge, guys. And if XRP can uh, let me share with you what I want XRP to do. If XRP can break above this resistance then I think we will be going up a lot higher. So that will be a 
this zone I'll be looking at. That's why I don't mind owning some XRP. If we break this support, which we easily can, then the next level where I'd be going all in on XRP or buying a lot more is the 2000 Satoshi level zone. And this is where I'll be buying a lot more XRP. And again, these are not after the fact, guys. If you watch my live stream, I've done a live stream. Uh, I do uh, live streams almost every day in the educational group. Uh, if you want to find out more about it, I I'm doing, I've got a strategy video guide as well i'm doing live stream in a bit and if you check out the unit section i've got educational strategy guides in there which which will bring you up to speed but i also do live streams and free live streams on youtube and i talked about buying xrp at that 618 zone which has the 1272 zone and i said it is looking bullish and it has worked out really well so make sure you subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification button to stay up to date with the live streams i'll try and do a couple of live streams free for free on youtube a few a couple of times a month a few times a month at least so that is why i like xrp btc before i go into the long-term cycle analysis uh, against long-term uh, xrp price uh, i want to share with you quickly news news wise guys there's not too much happening um people are just talking about the price there is some news i made a video uh, a last video i made about xrp people said it was a bit i was a bit crazy making that title but i wanted to make an important point there's some court ruling that's going on with the legal action of potential xrp being a security that will have a negative impact there are some good news as well with uh, mexico a lot of xrp is being used and how xrp is trying to work uh, with international money transfer so it is interesting but that's more long term i think price uh, short term price is driven a lot by emotion so the information i talked about you know coronavirus bitcoin crashing and the whole uh, the, the whole uh, world market in crisis i think that's going to have more impact and if xrp breaks below 12 cents i think it can have a big flush down similar you know when we were going up uh, people are just buying and thinking xrp is the best thing ever so when we break down people will get scared and we'll start calling xrp a scam when it happens i will buy some whether it goes to new highs or a bounce up i think it can happen so again i'm, I'm not going to spend too much time on this i might make a cycle video on xrp but what I would like to talk about here is, guys, we've seen XRP peak in uh, December 14, and it took about 826 days, so over two years, for it to start the new move up. We've peaked back in January 8, 2018. Could we spend another sort of two and a half years, which is probably March and April time this year, and then we have a move up? We also saw a spike. That is why I bought some here. This spike could be interesting, and we can see a big move up. I might do a video specifically on cycle analysis, but these are the two zones: one two seven two and six one eight. These are the two zones I'm looking to uh, buy more XRP. And my strategy would be if we can't get back above the resistances, guys, then I won't be interested in it if you are more of a safe trader so i'm more of a safe trader i'm more of a trader than investor this is more of a different sort of strategy that i'm i've bought some for but my strategy would be if we break above that red zone there's going to be time guys you know xrp is not going to go to a dollar or ten dollars a hundred dollars whatever you expect in a day there's going to be opportunities and and the strategy that i teach is basically a pullback strategy so you have a break up you buy the pullback so my strategy would be if xrp can break above resistance which is 30 cents i will look to buy a pullback and get in and uh, it always market always gives you a pullback even when xrp was going parabolic we did let me go onto the log scale we had loads of pullbacks to get in and that is the strategy that i teach i don't teach breakouts because that's what new traders try and buy breakouts and get smashed i teach pullback strategies with fibonacci to help me find zones of where to buy so thank you very much for watching this video guys i hope you guys have enjoyed it if you have enjoyed it guys make sure you smash that like button subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification button if you have any questions about trading related let me know if you want to take your trading to the next level and find out a strategy that works we like live stream daily updates a great community you might want to check this out guys for a few cups of coffee's worth of mo a month you can find out how we do it and if you're interested then you can take it further so i'll leave the links below if you're interested also guys i'm coming close to uh, 9 000, 8 000 subscribers i will be doing it i'll be doing an xrp giveaway next i've done litecoin giveaways i'll be doing xrp giveaways so make sure you subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification button to stay up to date with that so thank you very much guys to end the video i want to ask you a question what 
what is your thoughts on XRP? Do you think XRP will be great in the, in the near future? Comment below your price predictions for XRP. So end the video guys, my question to you guys is what is your price prediction for XRP? Do you think we can get that move up? So thank you very much guys. Smash that like button, subscribe to my channel. Comment below your thoughts on XRP and I'll see you guys soon with another great video. Thank you very much.